Oh, it's the best job in the world. I love working in the theater. I mean, first of all, it's a steady paycheck for as long as the show runs, so that is really nice. But there's also this amazing energy that comes with live performance. I mean, you are right there with the audience and their, their laughter, their gasps, their applause. It all comes to you in real time. Of course, the challenge is you have to be really on top of your physical bits for live performance. They call it fight choreography for a reason. It's just like a dance. You have to be on top of your timing, your rhythm, your partnering. Otherwise, it can really ruin it for the audience. And in a worst case scenario, somebody can actually get hurt. Right now I'm in this fun Shakespeare showcase. We're doing a scene from Midsummer, and in true Shakespearean fashion, we're adding in all kinds of prat falls and slaps and stuff to make it interesting. And the best part is, I'm working with a friend of mine who's a director, but also a fight choreographer. So I just get to act and have fun. What if I can, I can do something with your hair there, and then okay, like right. push you over, okay. and, 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 um, um, oh, oh, maybe I can slap you, because you're really, really pissed off. Like, well, we can, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll talk through all that, yeah. Okay, we'll talk through all that? Yeah. Oh, so, let's keep working from um, Pierce Through the Heart. Uh, let's go through it slowly from there and uh, see where we can find some of the physical impulses. Uh, Pierce Through the Heart with your stern cruelty. What's this to my Lysander? Ow! Oh! Mike, are you okay? Yeah, just a little harder than I expected. I guess I don't know my own strength. Yeah, strength shouldn't really figure into it. Let's take a look at that moment and uh, really lock down what's going on in that beat. Demetrius just won't leave me alone. And I think he killed Lysander. He keeps getting in my personal space. So I figured maybe I'd snap a little and get really physical with him. I think if she's this angry and fed up at this point in the scene, it doesn't really give us places to go later. Plus, look at her next line, Ah, Luke Demetrius. What do you think she's going for there? Maybe I'm trying to use my sex appeal to get him to give me the answer. Exactly. So maybe if I put my finger under his chin and bring him in close? Let's get really specific here. Start with the hand under his chin. Then when he answers is, I think is where I'd be upset and want to push him away. Uh, agreed. So place your hands on his backs. Well, all you have to do is follow his motion with your arms. Okay, so put my hands here, and then just bend my arms like this. Good, you can give him a little impulse with your arms to help with the timing. Don't worry, he's not gonna break. What's this to my Lysander? Where is he? Ah, good Demetrius, wilt thou give him me? I had rather give his carcass to my hounds. Out, dog! Out, ah, her! Hold, 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 hold. Mike, are you all right? I'll let you know when my tailbone's reattached. Ow. He was so, so sorry. You know, I didn't think he'd be so easy to push over. Don't you like do martial arts or something? I didn't think I would need them for rehearsal. Uh, Mike, I have a nice pack in my bag. Go ice your tailbone for a minute. I know we said we'd be working with a physical process. Yeah, I love that about this production. So much Shakespeare is people just spouting off speeches and it gets so boring. This feels so much more alive and connected. And Hermia is such a badass, she's so much fun to play. Yeah, <laughs> she is. Uh, the thing is, because we're adding all these great physical bits, we really have to take care of our scene partners. Okay, so, like, don't worry about acting. No, uh, we always have to keep our characters and intentions in mind, but in these early blocking rehearsals, just be careful not to get too caught up in the emotion, especially before the physical aspects are really set. Okay, I can totally do that. Slow and easy. Yeah, slow and easy. Great. Mike, you good? Yeah. I, uh... I just took some ibuprofen, so I think I'm, I'm gonna be fine. I'm just gonna skip that fall, if that's okay with you. Of course, whatever you need. 
Um, how about if we skip to near the end from I pray you tell me. So Mike, you're back on your knees and uh, Hermia is kneeling next to you pleading. Okay, yep. Can I take his hand while I'm asking him this? Sure, that's good. I pray thee, tell me then that he is well. If I could, what should I get there for? A privilege never to see me more. No, no. Hold! What did we just talk about? Just a second ago. We said we're going to mine this, we're going to mark through it. In Union Theater, you're doing eight shows a week. Two shows back to back on some days. And whether you're singing or dancing or fighting, that's way more physical work than people realize. Some days it doesn't really seem like it's worth it. But you know the old expression, show must go on. Breath so bitter on your bitter foe. If thou hast slain Lysander in his sleep, being over shoes in blood, plunge in the deep and kill me too. He cannot be, but thou hast murdered him. So should the murder look so deep, so grim. So should the murder look, and so should I, pierced <clears throat> through the heart with your stern cruelty. What's oh, my Lysander? Where is he? he? <gasps> I'd rather give his carcass to my hounds. Dead or no. Oh! 